Hey guys, welcome back or welcome to my channel. If you guys are new, make sure you guys subscribe if you haven't already. Yeah, my name is Tequila. So today we are actually going to be doing like a purple, maybe a cut crease, maybe a half cut crease. Um, I'm not really too sure, but I really want to do purple on my eyelid on, on my eyelids today. So yeah, that's what we're going to be doing. As you can see, I already did my eyebrows off camera. I have a video already up on my eyebrows, so if y'all are interested in how I do my eyebrows, um, y'all can go check that video out. Maybe I'll leave it at the end, you know, or like a link at the end, so you guys can click on it and watch it if you guys are interested. Um, but yeah, other than that, I did prime my eyelids as well. I am actually using a new concealer today. Or I have been using a new concealer. I'm using the Juvia's Place I Am Magic Concealer in the shade... Girl, what shade are you? 18. So first, I'm going to be taking my Morphe um, 35V palette. It's the Stunning Vibes. This is what she looks like. She is pretty. I believe I used her before, I think, on my channel. If not, then I probably recorded a video that I never uploaded when I was going to start this channel. But anyway... Um, let's see. We are going to be taking the shade. Actually, I don't even know the shade color, but this is like a good transition shade. It's like a light, light brown or like light, like a tan shade, which is perfect for, for the transition shade because it's not too dark or it's not too light. You know, it's in the middle. This concealer is honestly not that bad. I've been using it for maybe... Probably not even a week, honestly. Like a couple days. Almost a week. Um, she is honestly a good concealer. She is not so much on the thicker side, but she's like in the middle. Not too, you know, liquidy or not too thick. And so far, she's been working out pretty good. And with the foundation, like mixing, you know, some concealers don't really go good on top of, um foundation like depending on the formula that's in the foundation sometimes it really doesn't work or it just takes time for the concealer to warm up to the foundation because that honestly happened to me when I was using the elf camel concealer um the matte one I had problems with it in the beginning with the cap mix like when it was on top of my Kat Von D foundation after a while like it stopped doing what it was doing like it was kind of separating and um I don't know what like how or why it stopped doing like separating but it ended up working well with my foundation so um yeah sometimes concealers can be like that they're just stubborn you know or they just don't like to show out on the first day okay let's see so i think i'm gonna take this dark purple shade i'm kind of scared because it's like really dark this dark purple shade right here and we are going to be putting that into our crease loki scared we are here now so there's no going back from here Wow, look at her. I forgot how this palette is, to be honest. I honestly feel like I've used this palette a couple times. And then, like, I just stopped using it. I don't know why. Honestly, I do know why. Because color can be intimidating sometimes, you know? This is honestly, like, a cool tone purple now that I'm, like, actually, like, seeing it. Which is not a bad thing, but... Just in case y'all are wondering. It's kind of giving me those 90s vibes, you know? So what should we talk about? So it has been kind of a minute. I did have plans. Remember in my last video I said like I had plans? I think it was, no, it wasn't my last video. It was like, I think my first Valentine's Day look that I did. Where I said that I was bored one day and I ended up writing like a plan out of my whole year as to like what looks I want to do and I'm already behind on this month because after I did like my last Valentine's Day video or like the last video um I actually got a new job your girl is finally working she's employed or whatever I don't know if I should tell y'all where I'm working I don't think anybody cares so I don't I'm not 
gonna say where I'm working, but I just I did get a new job. Um, just a little update on that. It's um retail, not so much of um like food service or like anything that I was talking about. It's not clothing, it's more so like makeup, so yeah. Your girl is finally in the makeup industry where she wants to be. And it's crazy because like after this interview, like I don't know like why, but like it started making me think as to like how long it took me to actually become an employee at like a makeup place. Like I've always just went more so into like clothing retail and a little bit of food service, but you know, that's not really, well at the time it was what I wanted to do, I'm not gonna lie, it's like, was a, um, a dream of mine to work at Hollister. <laughs> I actually like Hollister, like, for their jeans, because they fit me perfectly, like, you know how they have, like, they have the regular size, and then they also have, um, long and short, and of course, I'm, well, I'm short, so those were the only pairs of jeans that would, like, fit me perfectly, so I really wanted to work at Hollister, and I did. I worked there for about a year. Oh, me doing a little get-to-know-me. Okay, my little job history. So first of all, let me just backtrack because I'm sorry, this is going to be like all over the place. But first of all, I hit me year mark on YouTube not too long ago. I know, I know, crazy, right? Can't even believe it myself. But yeah, I hit my one year mark on the 12th this month. And it's actually pretty crazy. So I'm just going to be taking this black shade and I'm just going to be, you know, lightly putting it onto like the outer corner area just to give it more definition and deepen up the purple color that we have down. So I think this video is going to be like more of like a get to know me since it's been a year and y'all like barely even know me. So first of all, my name is Tequila. Hi, hello, nice to meet you. Um, this is my channel. I've been doing YouTube for about a year and I actually enjoy it. It's not too bad, you know, of, of course when you start something new it's kind of a little nerve-wracking and so it's definitely a little weird sitting in front of the camera and just talking to yourself. But you're not really talking to yourself because I'm talking to you, you know? <laughs> See, I am originally from New Mexico um, been there like 19 years of my life, 18, 18, because I left when I was 18. After high school, I moved to Hawaii to go to school, but unfortunately, I didn't live that dream out, and I did not graduate, but that's fine. That's completely fine. Um, school was never a thing for me. Like, school's not for everyone. I will just put that out there. It's not for everyone. Um, they say, they make it sound like it's for everyone, but it's really not. So I ended up dropping out after the first year. Do I plan to go back to college? Um, yes, but in the, near, in the near future. I started working towards the end of my um, freshman year of college. And my first job was at Zara. But I lived that dream pretty short as well because um, I was very irresponsible at the time. I went to a rave the night before. So I ended up being late for work the next day. And I already had a first warning the second, the second time like they ended up firing me. But that's fine. That's okay. Because that job wasn't meant for me, apparently. Okay. And then after that, I ended up applying to Hollister like a couple months later. And I ended up getting the job. So I worked there for about a year, as I've said. I'm not going to go into depth about that because I already did. And then, like, 
My roommate at the time, she convinced me to work at Starbucks because, you know, we just, and we went there every day and I don't know, I just always, not always, but like, I just was interested at the time in working there because it just seemed fun and, um, yeah, it just seemed fun. So I ended up applying and I ended up working at the Starbucks at Ala Moana, Ebba Wing, shout out to them. Shout out to my manager. And yeah, he ended up giving me the job. Well, I got the interview first, obviously. And then he ended up interviewing me. And I got the job, which was, I don't know why it was shocking to me. Because, I don't know, I just feel like, I don't know. I always just second guess myself when it comes to shit like that. So I was just very surprised. Not that I did bad or anything. I hope I didn't actually. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Because he told me. Unless he lied to me. Did you lie to me? No, I'm just playing. But, um, yeah, so I ended up getting the job at Hollis. Not Hollister. Starbucks. And I honestly worked there for the rest of my time. Um, not the rest of my time. What am I even talking about? So I'm just going to be taking this Morphe brush that I absolutely hate. But I still use it anyway. It's going to be taking... Let's see. Should I do the lighter shade? Because this is kind of like a cool tone. So since this purple was kind of like giving me a cool tone, I was going to do this shade right here. Wait. I was going to do this one, but I don't know. It kind of looks more of like on the red side, like the pink side. So I think I'm going to take this one because it's kind of giving me that cool tone that I am looking for so I'm just gonna take that shade I just showed you and we're just gonna be placing that in the middle just to kind of blend everything together onto the lid but yeah so I worked at um Starbucks for about two years maybe a little over two years 2018 19 to 20 yeah for about two years and then yeah I obviously told that story in my other video which i will link it down below if you're interested into that story as to how how i ended up quitting the job and like the little inside tea of starbucks well it's not really tea but so i ended up quitting starbucks and then yeah i went to working at a bar and now i am working with makeup so far, it's been so good. Kind of nerve-wracking, to be honest. But honestly, I get nervous for everything. So it's nothing really new. Um, which is not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing to be nervous at all. So taking the Juvia's Place in the shade 18, I'm just going to be cutting my crease. We're going to be doing like a half-cut crease type of thing. I hope y'all can't hear the TV in the background because that would be tragic and i hope y'all can't hear like anything else like the cars because i always forget about the cars in the background as well as like the airplanes that go by i'm well, on the airplanes but like um well yeah i guess because i live by air force base so I always hear the little jets so I'm going to be taking my Park Avenue or Park Ave Princess palette by Tars, which she looks like. And I'm actually going to be taking this enhanced shade. It's kind of like a banana yellow. And I'm just going to be using that to set the concealer. Because this one actually works better with this concealer than my airspun powder. I noticed that the other day, because I usually use my airspun now, or yeah, I used to, now I'm just going to use this palette, because when I was using the um, airspun powder on top of the this concealer, it kind of like was separating, not kind of, it was. I didn't like how my makeup came out, so... But I think I was going to work, so I didn't really have time to fix it or, you know, like, take it all off and redo it. So I just ended up leaving it. 
but the air spun just didn't want to cooperate with this concealer formula. What was I talking about? Um, I really do like the job. It's just kind of makes me nervous because I love makeup and I do makeup. But I always second guess myself. And I just don't want to give out the wrong information. So I try my best to know the product before I actually sell it. Or like know how it works. I don't like to bullshit things. So yeah, that's just where I'm at with this whole job thing. I'm just, there's a lot of product. Definitely a lot to learn, but I'm always, I'm open to learning about new things anyways, so. Yeah. So I'm just taking that lighter purple shade and I'm just gonna be placing that back down and kind of blending those the concealer with the the darker purple. Now I do want to add some shimmer onto the eyes or like a little bit of glitter. Actually it is shimmer. So, so I'm just going to be using this Pro Fusion Cosmetics per usual and I'm going to be taking the I believe it. I'm taking the Fascinate shade in this palette and it's like a blue like a purple but with like a blue reflex, which is this one right here. I don't know if you can see the reflex, the blue reflex, but it's really pretty and I have used this shade before and I love it. So I'm just going to apply it like towards the middle and I did spray it with some NYX setting spray. Yes, honey. So pretty. This shade kind of reminds me of like a mermaid. I don't know if I want to add it like to the... To like all over the lid or just leave it right here. And I honestly always apply shimmer shades or like any type of glitter with my finger. Just because I feel like it applies better. But if I do end up using a brush it's because it just didn't work out which is rare but yeah so if you ever see me using a brush then the finger didn't work out so that is it oh that's a pretty shade too okay we are done with the eyes and i'm just well actually not really because i have to add some eyeliner <laughs> i'm sorry i'm like so out of <laughs> so out all over the place i can't even freaking talk either um, okay, so we're just going to be lining our lid with our e.l.f. liquid liner in the shade Charcoal. Before we actually do that, I'm actually going to just try to clean up like the outer corner and make it like, you know. Okay, we're now just going to wing it out. And now to connect the wing. Okay, I think they look even enough. <laughs> I try to make them as even as possible, but I don't want to go too overboard and then and them be like thick, thick, because they're kind of already thick, but. It's fine. So now I'm going to be taking this L'Oreal Air Volume mas Mascara. I almost said mascara. My little accent. I've been watching too many British people. <laughs> but honestly, um, yeah, I'm taking the L'Oreal Paris Air Volume Mascara. So I've actually been trying this as well as the Juvia's Place and... I don't know how I feel about this mascara. I mean, I can see why it's definitely called air volume because 
It's super lightweight, definitely gives a lot of volume, but the formula itself, I just feel like it's too, like, thin. It's thin, but, like, it chunks. It, like, kind of makes your eye lit. I mean, your eye, um, oh my freaking god, I can't even talk. Your eyelashes look clumpy. I don't know if you can see. There's, like, some clump in there. <laughs> So what I usually do, I usually take my other one, which is the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash one, and I comb it out as much as possible. Not really comb it out, but like try to unclump it as much as possible. But since I don't have that, I'm just using this Petite and Pretty Fully Feathered volum Voluminizing Mascara. Honestly, all I use is voluminizing mascaras because those just work out for me and they make my lashes, you know, voluminized. <laughs> Alright y'all, I am back. And so as you can see, I did go ahead and do this side off camera just to save a little bit of time because my time is clearly getting taken up by my dogs. So I just ended up doing that side off camera. Then the lash is a little bit dramatic for this eye look, to be honest, not gonna lie. Or if you don't care, then you don't care, but... For those of you who do, um, these lashes are probably not it for you if you do want to want, you know, the eye to be shown. But I honestly haven't used these lashes in a long time, so, um, and plus my other lashes need to be washed or, you know, like I need to, um, wash them out and kind of, you know, get them up to standard. Um, so they're not looking crusty or anything, but yeah, so I just ended up using these and these are the 3D Mink Lash by Ms. Lash in the number 23 and this is what she looked Well, this is the box that it came in not what they look like, but if you want to know how they look like this is how she is looking Very full And fluffy and I'm just using my Eyelore London um Lash glue in clear is the 18 hour lash glue, and I honestly love these lashes. I honestly love dra me a dramatic lash, um, only because my eyes, my eyelashes are pretty long to begin with, and these just match match the vibes that my eyes are given. Um, the only thing that they don't match is like. How full they are as you can see like my natural lash is kind of not full but they used to be not gonna lie they're not as bad but like you know it could be worse but they there was like a like it was full at one point not full full but you know full <laughs> I'm so annoying with my descriptions but yeah, so we're just going to let that dry. I already primed my face with, um, actually I didn't prime my face. So while that eyelash is drying, I'm actually going to be using my Becca Ever Matte Poreless, um, primer. I love this primer, especially for like the summertime, you know, when you get oily. Especially around my nose, this is where I get oily the most. And on my forehead, like just a little bit. And my chin as well. But I do put a little, a little bit goes a long way. I used to use this a lot. It's a good, um, it goes good with um, the foundation as well. Like, really good. And I'm just taking my no, no pore blend prime essence um, by Touch and Soul, and I'm just using it for like the exterior of my face slash the places that we didn't apply the Becca one. I forgot my hair clips because I just took my dogs out, but, and I didn't want to go out there looking crazy. I mean, I already was because I was only, I only had one lash done. And now we're just going to apply this lash. I honestly want to try 
these new lashes, well not new, but they're new to me. These lashes that are at Ulta, um, they're Kiss lashes actually, I believe actually. They're a bit on the dramatic side as well, like lengthwise, but they just look so like nice. Like they're like really like fluffy. Kind of dainty like at the ends, but I really want to try them so I might buy those at some point. I just need money in my bank account, that's all I need. Um, but yeah, this is how the eye look turned out. So now to go in with our foundation, I'm just gonna... Ooh. Of course, I'm using my KBD Vegan Beauty in the shade Medium 65 Neutral. And honestly, just apply a little bit. I don't apply too much anymore. So I usually use like two and a half, one and a half point, I mean points. One and a half pumps of this foundation. Maybe not even. Point is, I use less than what I normally would use. And let's just talk about my skin for a minute. Did you like see how my skin is? I mean, there's still like texture and you know, a little bit of like scarring going on, but for the most part, she is clear. It's rare that, well not, it's rare when my skin is like clear, like fully. But watch. Let me not say it because I don't want to speak it out into existence. But yes, I have been loving my skin recently she's just doing it for me so i applied a little bit more because there was not enough on my chin yes i love me kvd full coverage so now taking my juvia's place concealer in the shade 18 we are just applying that to the inner corner and then the outer wing and then underneath the lips a little bit. Our chin, I kind of apply it right here now. And then kind of like a little bit on the sides of the nose. And then of course the forehead and down the bridge of the nose. I kind of like go like a third of the way and then kind of do like a dot right here. Just because I kind of like my nose to look like a button. So we're just going to let that dry for a minute. But Young Blue, Your Mind Still, featuring Drake. Girl. That is my, my shit. Okay. I love that song. That's a vibe. That's really a vibe. I love that song. So now we are just blending out our concealer. I usually just blend out like the smaller areas first before I go into like the inner corners and under the eye. Just because there's a lighter product um, in these areas, so... They dry, they're dried down before the under eye, you know? I don't know if that made any sense, but yeah. <laughs> To kind of blend in the concealer with the foundation, I just go back in with my foundation beauty blender and I just, you know, kind of blend everything together and then go back in with my mini beauty blender and go back under the eyes hopefully my mic is working i turned it on and everything and i hope it's connected correctly so i don't have to do a voiceover <laughs> like last time but girl i made sure that shit was on i ain't trying to do another voiceover again i mean i don't mind but like girl I'd rather save me some time. <laughs> you see how pretty that is? Like, 
the concealer. Okay, Juvia's Place. Okay, I see you. So I have to double check. She is full coverage. That's why she is looking, you know, good. <laughs> I mean, I could tell from the looks of it, but I just wanted to make sure, you know, don't want to give any false. As I've said, when it comes to makeup, I have to make sure that I'm not giving out the incorrect info. Oh, so now I'm taking this Park Avenue Princess Park Ave Princess palette again. And we're just using that um, enhanced shade. And I'm just placing that in the areas we have highlighted. Just to set everything together. I'm not necessarily baking just yet. Actually, I might not, I might not even bake, but we'll see. You know, I always change my mind in the end. So very indecisive, I know. Something I still have to work on. Okay, so now we're going to be working on our contour. Our con bronze. Bronze con. Whatever you want to call it. And I'm taking this Ace Beauty. Ace Bute, 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 and I'm taking, I can never pronounce this right, Ace Bute. I've heard somebody say Bute before, so I think that's how you say it. Anyway, I'm taking this second lightest shade, and of course, ew, don't mind my nails. I didn't even realize that until now. Um, we're just going to be, you know, contouring, so that's bronzing our face, and we're just going to be taking that and defining our cheekbone. And then, of course, our forehead, just like the very tippy top. Ew. The very top. And then we're just going to take this, um, the NYX eyeshadow brush. And we're just going to be taking the same shade and contouring our nose. And then to kind of blend everything together, I do like go over the contour a little bit with the excess powder that's left on our beauty blender. And then I go in with this powder brush and just make sure everything is blended completely. So now I'm just going to be taking my airspun powder again and I'm just going to be kind of cleaning up the contour. I'm just going to leave that on for a couple seconds. And then we're just going to dust it away. For our powder um, blush, we are going to be taking the Luminoso by Milani. And I'm going to be taking this Equal Tools powder brush on the higher points of the cheek because that lifts the face that's what I'm going for or that's what I usually go for is a lifted lifted look and then we're putting some on our nose isn't that crazy how like I never really use blush until now but honestly that's how it was for some people that I've been watching on YouTube. They um, didn't use blush before. And then they just all of a sudden started using it. I mean, I did have blush like in my makeup collection. I'm just spraying... Pff, ew! I'm just spraying my face with the NYX Matte Setting Spray. And I am just applying my e.l.f. Baked Highlighter. In bronze glow and I'm just using the champagne side which is the lighter side and of course our forehead sides of the forehead and Cupid's bow chin and then I'm also gonna apply that like on the inner corner so going back with our morphe palette if I can open it I'm taking the dark purple shade 
I'm going to be using this little Morphe brush. And I'm going to be putting that close to the lash line as possible. You can honestly use an angled brush. It would probably work better, but I'm just going to use this. I'm going to be taking this other Morphe brush. And going to be taking that lighter purple shade. You know, sometimes I'll never really do this part. Because I just forget. Or I just don't have the time. I don't know. I just feel like it looks weird on me. To have like a bottom smoky. So now I'm just going to be taking this Smooth Shadow Creamy Eye Pencil in the shade Raven. By Elizabeth Mott. Malt. You see the accent just comes out. I honestly prefer a black liner on the lower lash line for my eyes specifically because I just feel like my eyes are already big enough that if I add like a white under like on the waterline then it wouldn't. <gasps> I could have used a purple eyeliner. Oh my god I forgot I had. You know what we're just going to try it. So I'm just going to be trying this NYX um, eyeliner. What shade is this? Oh purple blaze. I, for I totally forgot I had this. So we're just going to try to finesse it and cover the black. There you go. You can barely see it because it's a dark purple, but it'll be fine. Very creamy, for sure. You can barely tell, but it's fine. It's fine. You can see it up close, but on camera it looks like it's just straight black. Um... So that's it for the eyes, and now for our lips. So we're honestly just going to do a nude lip today, and we are going to be using our Espresso Lip Liner by NYX. I have a couple blackheads, and they're like bothering me right now. Okay, so now I'm going to be taking my Super Stay Matte Ink by Maybelline in the shade Driver, and I'm just going to be applying that in the center of the top and bottom lip. Like so. And then blend it out with the finger. So now I almost forgot the bottom lashes. So now we're just going to be taking our air volume again. And just be applying that to the bottom lash. I'm not going to add gloss onto the lips just because um, if I were to go anywhere, I would honestly be wearing a mask. I just don't want to have to deal with the lip gloss getting onto my mask. But if you guys want to, or if y'all are just staying in the house or, you know, if y'all live with people um, that are in your household and you just want to look good for no reason, then you can add a gloss, definitely, but... Alright y'all, this is the final and completed look. I went ahead and just added a little bit of jewelry as you can see. Just simple, you know, because we're just going to be sitting around the house doing nothing. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys haven't already, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button and push that bell, no bell notification. I can never say this. And hit that bell notification just so you guys upload a new video. I mean... <laughs> Oh my goodness, cut. If you guys haven't already, make sure you guys subscribe and push that bell notification just so you guys get notified when I upload a new video. And give this video a thumbs up if you liked it um, or a thumbs down if you didn't. Yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm sorry that this was all over the place per usual, but I am going to be working on that. So, yes. Can I promise you? Probably not, but... It's fine. You know what? It's okay. I will see you guys next time. Bye.